The four chambers of your heart are the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. Your mitral valve is located between your left atrium and your left ventricle and controls blood flow between these two chambers. Oxygen-rich blood returning from your lungs moves into the left atrium of your heart, then through the mitral valve into your left ventricle. The mitral valve opens when your heart relaxes, allowing blood to enter your left ventricle from your left atrium. When your heart contracts, the mitral valve closes to prevent blood from returning to your left atrium. The mitral valve has an anterior leaflet and a posterior leaflet and is surrounded by a fibrous ring of tissue called the annulus that maintains the shape of the valve, which is important to ensure that the leaflets close completely. Tendinous cords anchor the leaflets to projections inside your left ventricle called papillary muscles. If you have degenerative valve disease, your posterior mitral leaflet enlarges and projects or prolapses into the left atrium. Your cords may elongate or rupture and your annular ring enlarges. The prolapsed leaflet allows blood to leak or regurgitate into your left atrium. There are various surgical approaches to repair the mitral valve. Your surgeon may begin your procedure by making an incision over the length of your breastbone or sternum or by making a minimally invasive incision in your right chest wall. A more recent surgical technique is endoscopic robotically assisted surgery utilizing pencil sized portholes on the right side of the chest. You will be placed on a heart lung machine which takes over the functions of those organs. During the procedure, your surgeon will remove the extra tissue from the leaflet, then close the leaflet edges with sutures. Your surgeon will also reshape the mitral valve border using an annuloplasty ring to ensure the valve leaflets close completely. If you have degenerative mitral valve disease affecting the anterior leaflet, it may also enlarge and prolapse. As with a prolapsed posterior leaflet, your cords on the anterior leaflet elongate or rupture and your annular ring enlarges. During the procedure, your surgeon may remove a small triangular area of the leaflet then close the leaflet edges with sutures. Your surgeon may also repair your anterior leaflet by transferring unstretched cords from the posterior leaflet. The unstretched posterior cords will be attached to the anterior leaflet, reducing the prolapse. Then your surgeon will suture the area from which the posterior cords were taken. In some cases, artificial cords will be created using sutures attached to your papillary muscle. As with any mitral valve repair, an annuloplasty ring will be inserted to ensure closure of the valve leaflets. If you have functional mitral regurgitation, your mitral valve is normal. However, other heart conditions may have dilated your annulus. As a result, the edges of your valve leaflets no longer meet and left ventricular blood regurgitates backward into your left atrium. During the procedure, called a reduction annuloplasty, your surgeon will reduce the dilation of the annulus with insertion of an annuloplasty ring, which ensures the complete valve closure. For more information, please contact the Department of Cardiothoracic Surgery at NYU Langone Medical Center at 1-866-399-HEART.